Well, I'm a woman that has a lot of experience, um, that has lived a very good life, and a woman that's very proud of my family. Um, I think that all my values come from the ethic that was um, instilled by my grandparents who arrived here in the city of Chula Vista in 1919. So they were a very young newlywed couple and they moved to Chula Vista and had their um, first uh, of nine children here. And so all my nine uncles and aunts were born here and um, subsequently uh, the rest of my family, you know, my, my siblings, my cousins. And Chula Vista has been a wonderful place for us. But it's, a, it's been a place where we've been able to work and to learn and to succeed in our lives. Oh, my grandparents were from Yawalica, Jalisco, a beautiful region of Mexico. And it's the home, uh, actually, Agustin Yanez, who was a governor in Jalisco and later the Minister of Education. Um, he's actually a relative of my grandmother. So, you know, our roots go way, way back. And I just made a trip to Yawalica just past November for the first time to see where my grandparents were born. It's, it's really a wonderful responsibility. Uh, and first I have to say that I'm the first Latina that's been elected as mayor, but I also feel that my, my education and my experience before uh, made me the best person to represent Chula Vista at this point in time. Yes, I do, and um, I think that we have to emphasize that, um, that historically in Chula Vista, we have had a lot of ties to Tijuana and Ensenada. You know, culturally, we share families that are on both sides of the border, and certainly we have an inter interdependence of our economies. And so um, it, the focus hasn't been on building those binational relationships in the past, but certainly I know of the benefit for it um, from my years of working in economic development. And, um, you know, I want to really form relationships that last and that can show fruits of those efforts in terms of, um, you know, uh, an interchange of, of, of business, um, of culture, and education, too. All that new business growth of those new entrepreneurs that have come to Chula Vista from, from Mexico, they're adding excitement to our city. Um, they're adding, you know, these wonderful restaurants like Romesco and, and um, La Tequila, Carinas, um, just a number of really fine quality restaurants, and we welcome them here. Um, and, and we're getting known now in broader circles as being a destination for good restaurants, and that was never the case before that investment um, with those business owners that had restaurants in Tijuana. Some of them still do but then they've opened up branches here, and it's all a good thing. So, you know, we welcome anyone that has, um, you know, a good plan and a, a good quality product that they have to offer. Well, I, I think that um, they, should, they should build relationships with those business owners that have gotten here before, right? That's how it's done. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the, the first to come always have the hardest job. And so it gets easier as um, those businesses know our process because you know our our permitting process and all of that is a lot more structured than it is in Mexico. Our zoning requirements are a lot more structured and so they need to know that how to how to navigate that and um, you know if they have a problem they can always come to me you know because I can point them in the right direction and uh, we have an economic development department that is very very willing to assist businesses and and getting them through the process and letting them know what they have to do. I just think it's an exciting time for us uh, because we do see that that increased mobility within our, our cities and our, and our communities. And, um, you know, Chula Vista has always been, a, a, not Chula Vista, but the United States has always been a, a land of immigrants. And you get, you, you know, you get new ideas, you get new ways of doing things if you're open to to the new people that come here. Um, sometimes, you know, if you're a, a stagnant city, you get very stuck in a, in a rut and a routine, and you can't think beyond the old way of doing things. And um, so uh, I welcome anyone to give us good ideas. Also, uh, to those that live here in Chula Vista that, that are our citizens, there's a tremendous opportunity for them 
to serve in the city on our boards and commissions. So we have a, a lot of opportunities for there. And then what I try to tell, um, you know, like the first generation people that, that are here is that you may not run for city council, but you better get your daughters and your sons ready to run for city council because they're going to be the future leaders. And so the, the more they can get involved in civic engagement, participating in city functions, um, then that'll lead the road to future leadership in our Latino community.